Hello and welcome to another tutorial that I'm doing. This time we're going to be doing it on VideoPad Video Editor Professional. I'm using the free version, however, you can get um, a free trial off the internet for the full version. Uh, you get 14 days. When that 14 days is worn out, you've got two weeks. Uh, if you use it after that two weeks, you can uh, downgrade to the uh, free version. Now, Let's get onto it. Now, first things first, of course, I've gone through that way too quickly because I use this all the time. Uh, you're going to go into Add Media. Now, this, by the way, software comes from NCH. Uh, software, Limited, or whatever. And in this case, I'm going to be putting together the uh, footage I showed you um, making the actual um, After Effects stuff. So I'm just going to import it all, and uh, you'll get this screen. I'm going to pause for apps whilst this happens, because uh, I don't want to have to wait. Just thought I'd actually say before I actually pause the recording to download these things. Um, After Effects files are rather big. They can be one or two gig. Um, actually, if I could, I'll probably show you by going into my computer. Um, if it wants to load. Going into my expansion drive. This isn't my expansion drive, this is a family expansion drive. I've used most of it up myself, whatever. Um, it may be very slow because, of course, it's recording and importing. Uh, it will just convert. Um, it does this when it captures straight out of something like Fraps. It will convert. Um, and then put it somewhere. Anywho, as you can see, uh, my computer would like to display the information. It's not going to do very easily. Ah, here we go. As you can see, damn, I pressed the wrong button and I have to wait for it to load again. Um, that's 3.9 gig, that's the wrong thing for the start. Uh, photo must flash. As you can see, it's it's sort of big. Um, these aren't actually a very good example because there isn't much on them. Uh, but they can be rather large. Um, at times, so you're definitely going to want to put them through editing software, but those two are really short, so they're not that big. Okay, 20 odd minutes later and it's finally done. Um, yeah. Okay, um, what you're going to do is this is your previewer, and if you just click the play button. and welcome to the beginner's guide to After Effects and putting stuff together. You can preview your clips. Note that, like in After Effects, this is actually incredibly slow. Now, if you want to put a clip in, like you saw there, you can just drag it onto the timeline. If you want to put multiple clips in, you can shift click, and it will put them in from top to bottom. Drag it. Make sure you get this little red arrow you can see over there. Um, anywhere over the halfway line, we'll allow you to do that. And, yeah, once you've dragged it all in, you've got all your video put together. And it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, you can do various things. For example, you can mute tracks like that. Uh, you can add different soundtracks. So you can add lots of sound effects. You can split pieces of footage. Uh, if you click a piece of footage, put the slider there. Say, click split. It's splitted. And you can also add transitions and effects. Uh, if you're doing, say, a video, you probably want to do. Uh, you want to click brightness. This is like if you're actually doing a video rather than a tutorial. Click automatically normalize. This just balances out the coloring. And uh, you can of course do this all by hand, but uh, I prefer to do it um, just automatically normalize. And you can just add various effects to do various different things on here. And of course, you can put in transitions. I don't do that, but you know, you can do that. And of course, adding subtitles, you can do that. that. Narrating, you can add a voiceover. Insert blanks into different areas. You can capture your webcam. If that's what you want to do. Uh, these will prop that one at least won't be there. Probably if you have the full version, but it might be. Um, I'm not really sure. I can't remember. You can uh, change the effects from here. You can change transitions. Anything can be done from here. You can of course change it to a storyboard format, but uh, I'd prefer personally timeline, but you can do that if you wanted. Uh, overlays. You're going to want to do this. Um, uh, this is essentially just clicking this button and you can add an image or a video or text an overlay. Uh, because I'm going to give you a practical example. 
By the way, this is a little zoomer here, so you can zoom in as much or as little as you want. And we're going to click insert blank at the slider's position. And there we go, we have a plain white blank there. And you can change clip lengths by doing this. This cuts bits off the edges of the clips. Uh, if you did it from here, then it, it um, rather than moving the clip away, it pushes the clip backwards to compensate for anything you've cut out. Okay, now we're going to give you a good example. Um, I'm going to go and click overlay track. And we're going to click text. This will automatically be selected, but you can select different ones. Uh, image video. Now, use chroma keys if you selected an image and you want to remove a color. So, green screening, that kind of thing. So, um, finished. Or should I just put examples? Examples. Yeah, just put examples. And there you go. And you can pick where it goes using this thing here, which is very useful. And then you can change fonts to be whatever you like. In this case, we'll have Chiller. Now, this one, uh, the, the, this is very weird software because, as you can see, there is an outline to that text. Now, uh, this one is the actual color of the text itself, and um, this, the one with the underline, the A with the underline, is the actual color of the text itself. So, for example, if we wanted, say, red text, we click red, and eventually that will update itself, and there you go, it will be red. Uh, it should be a lot quicker than this, it's just because I'm running um, fraps. You click the other one, and that picks the um, external color, which you can change to be whatever you wanted. Uh, in this case, we'll probably go for a turquoisey blue, um, or maybe not. Anywho, you can just, you know, chop and change, choose what you want. Of course, if you don't want a background color, you can just pick the same color as you did earlier. However, I don't do that because it, it doesn't give it much definition. So I generally pick one that's near it. it um, kind of like that. But yeah, for this time we're going to be using this colour. And there you go, and you can uh, change its size like that. And uh, there's a large number of different fonts. Uh, and it's just done by slider. And you can change its opacity, you can give it fading, you can give it different entrances. Uh, in this case we're just going to give it that. And... Yeah, that's pretty much how you use VideoPad. The rest of it is just for, for you to figure out. Um, actually, I might as well show you this as well. If you right-click a sound clip, left-click then right-click it, you can unlink it from the original audio track. So if you want to cut this, say I wanted to cut the end off, I can do that without cutting this footage up here. And you can also fade in and out, and you can adjust its volume. In this case, I'm not happy with the volume of my voice in uh, the video. It wasn't loud enough. It won't be loud enough in this video either, probably, but whatever. So you can just change it by clicking Adjust, Clip Volume. You move it to different tracks. You can delete the audio without having to delete this and unlink this. Uh, you can fade it in, fade out, which is very useful. Um, so if I wanted to move that, yeah, I could. you can just leave it like that. And now it's going to be just down there. And that's pretty much how you do it. Um, other than that, I can't think of much else to say to you. So, uh, there you go. As you can see, there's the two things there. There's that one, and of course that one. And then this video will be up on YouTube soon. Uh, then you just click uh, Preview, if you want a preview footage. Hello, and welcome to the Beginner's Guide to After Effects and Putting Stuff Together. Don't worry, this isn't the quality that it'll actually come out in. This is just a very low quality preview. Uh, it generally runs pretty slowly, uh, so you need to be a bit careful. When you're ready with it, click Save Movie, just like you would in Windows Movie Maker. Uh, and you can pick random presets, um, so whichever you like, or you can set your own. I always set them to file format ASF, because like I've said, my After Effects doesn't accept ADI. And then you can change the different qualities and frame rates, etc. Um, but this kind of video, uh, if you're doing an action video, for example, when you're going to be putting it into After Effects afterwards, you want a highest frame rate you can get, and you only want to render this once. You want to make sure you're happy with it by watching through the preview and things, and you may want to render it in really low quality so you can check that everything's in time and things. But other than that, you want to make sure you render it at the quality you want it at the end. And if you want to pick 
uh, you can save it to um, disks and portable devices image sequences you can upload it to YouTube and you can also save things in stereoscopic 3D which it will turn it into stereoscopic 3D for those of you who don't know that's when it's um, red and blue and it sort of makes a two layer 3D uh, kind of like Minecraft does um, if you want to change its location you can press this button here okay so once you click browse you can pick where you want to save it and here I'm putting it here and in this case uh, I don't want to save it there at all. I want to save it to a tutorial, and I'm just going to put done. And there you go. And then you just click OK, and it will start to create your movie. And that's pretty much how you use the software. If you want any more in-depth stuff and how to put sounds and things together, uh, I'll do that. Uh, thank you for watching.